It's fine. Ah! Uh, good stop. Oh no, I just dropped my eyes. Oh, my turn to say. Lovely. Oh, I can't see the Hold on. <gasps> oh, I'm so awkward. Okay. <sighs> Wait, no, I forgot. Okay. So, I finished doing. From Loki. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I thought I'd bring you along on a cute little DIY journey and I made Charlie's Valentine's Day presents on my camera slipping. Oh my god! Oh my god! So I made him a little coupon, like, redeeming thing in a little box and I made him some memory bottles and I thought they were really cute. It was super cheap and literally cost me about a pound per bottle um, and it was so much fun. It did take a lot longer than I anticipated so the video is very jumpy but I hope you enjoy. Okay, I've got slouch to get in the shop but that's okay because I slouch anyway. Um, so I'm going to start off by painting these wooden hearts. Um, I'm going to take off my ring because I don't want it to get covered in paint. Um, yeah, so I'm basically, I'm going to do some red, some pink, and then some like really baby pink. So one, two, three. I'm going to do them in like sets of, I'll do them in sets of how many there is going to be in there. So I know that there's ten ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten actually I mean there's five ones and ten twos and then five fives I think so I'll set them into piles so they're the twos one two three four five they're the ones so basically the darker they are the less in the thing they are I also just put a plastic bag down on the table so I don't get paint everywhere. <laughs> Four spares, but how? Because there's an even number. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, 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 thirty-five,
I'm basically just using the paint to stick it to my finger and then painting it on so then I get less paint all over my hands. As I anticipated, this is messy as hell and I'm really glad that I put the stuff over my desk because I may have already dropped one but all of the pale pink, the baby pinks are done on one side so I'm just gonna go wash my hands, wash my life um, and I'll show you the state of the desk and then I will mix up the next colour the slightly darker pink for the next set of hearts and I'm really excited I just, it's very messy <laughs> uh, so the paint came off my hands surprisingly easily um, which is good I am also very glad of two things one, that I had the sense to put the plastic down because the amount of times I have dropped them is ridiculous and two that the paint came off my hands easy because that wasn't something i was looking forward to but now i'm gonna try and mix up a little bit of a darker pink i'm not sure if it's gonna work because again i'm running out of red paint quite um drastically so i'm planning on using up the rest of this main color now because i do need to rebuy a red paint so I'm hoping that was enough, especially with the white, to keep that for tomorrow. I like that colour. These are the colours next to each other. Very nice. I like. I'm going to start painting. I think I got the knack for it last time. It was like sticking my nail in there while I paint and trying to avoid my hands as much as possible but let's be honest I've got to hold it somehow I should paint them in his favorite colors but I'm gonna do that next I did fully drop one of these on the floor a minute ago though which wasn't ideal but well there's nothing we can do about it now is there it didn't make a mark on the carpet, as far as I'm aware. Um, and it fell onto my leg first. And it didn't mark my leg. So I think the carpet will be fine. I kind of like, you can't really see it on camera, but it's kind of leaving like a striped effect. Because it's not fully covering. And I actually really like it. So I might see if I can keep that on all of them. Because that looks pretty fun, in my opinion. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Um, obviously there's less of them, which I forgot to account for when mixing the paint. Um, so I think some of these are going to need a couple more layers anyway. Oh, my face is very close to the camera. I think some of these are going to need another layer anyway, so that's not too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, I'm now on to the five red ones. Um, and I was going to do that straight out of the bottle. But I am going to need to wash my hands first. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get a bit of red. I am literally doing it straight from the bottle. So I don't need to mix it. Because I am very much running out of this. Um, so yeah, you got that for me. But I have five left to paint. Um, and then I will be done for the night. And I can just let them dry. Go and get my washing out. And then I'll come back tomorrow. I have very much cleaned this bottle out next step would be to literally cut the top off and stick my paintbrush in there um, but I think that's something for another day I think I can suffice with what has come out of the bottle oh, I love red I love red so much I am going to invest in a new red paint anyway so this is just giving me the push I think the other reason I go through red so much quicker is because I use red paint a lot and it also is very see-through, so you kind of have to layer it for a lot of things. <laughs> I'm holding the paintbrush in the most awkward way. Um, but yeah, sometimes red is, well, red is definitely very see-through, so I will have to do another coat on just to plain red ones. But that is a tomorrow problem, not a today problem.
I'm actually really enjoying this. This is quite relaxing. So this is the current state of my desk. I have all of the different colours. I have the bag with the paint palette, which is a plate in it. And I'm going to leave those for to dry and I'll be back again tomorrow. So back on day two, my camera angle is all tilted because my ring light keeps falling over. And I don't have the energy to try and fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remove the paint palette, i.e. one of my plastic plates. Oh, I think, actually... Oh, it worked! So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting off my little pink and red hearts. Um, I'm going to paint all the backs of them. And then I will come back and I will see you afterwards and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do next. Look at all the hearts! Finished the hearts um, for now. These ones are very streaky. So I will have to paint another layer on I think all of them because they are looking pretty streaky. But for now we're done. Um, I'm going to have to put my paint palette back into my plastic bag and then I will be done. Okay, so currently I have dry hearts, which is great. I've film filmed, I've painted um, words. I've been up, I was up all night last night taking my friend to the hospital and the whole painting process has been delayed for a couple days. Um, but I have some dry hearts and some need an extra layer so they are currently wet. But I'm going to use this Posca pen to outline the edges and see how that looks. And if it goes terribly, I don't have a plan B, so I'm just going to do it anyway. I just um, finished the hearts. They're drying and they look really cute. I've got them in a little container. And now, turn into bad lighting. Now I've got this little box that has got the little bottles in. And now I'm going to paint this. With the remaining pink paint and I'm gonna just go with like a <sighs> coloured wash type vibe because I'm mixing the colours on the on the box the the, the, the container whatever you want to call it um it's gonna be kind of mixed in and kind of not so I don't have an example to show you I'll put a picture up here that's what I mean just like that um but yeah, that's the kind of style that I'm going for, so hopefully it works. And I'll see you after I've done that, because I really don't want to film myself painting again. <laughs> I got a box! This is what the box is looking like right now. I'm going to have to wait for it to dry on the outside before I paint the inside. Which means I still can't get rid of my paint, because there's a lot of spare and I don't want to just throw it away. So, got to wait for this to dry. And while it dries, I am going to do the writing on all of the little hearts so i'm just gonna get along with that oh my hair is not the vibes today i've just been out shopping and i went and got some more supplies i painted the inside of this crate red last night and i'm gonna try and get all the tiny little bits that i like that bit the insides that i missed um because you're gonna be able to see them oh my face is bleeding i also got this like cellophane paper so it's like clear and it's got stars on it to go on the inside of the crate because I want to put I'm coming I'm coming I want to put some of this and this confetti in the crate but obviously because it's got holes in it's gonna fall out so I bought all of those to go in and then I'm gonna line it with cellophane stick it in once it's dry and then fill it up with the little tissue paper bits and confetti and that'll be it so I'm gonna finish painting that up and then I will join you again when I decide what I'm gonna do next because I also have something else to make um and I will show you when I get to it so this is currently what my little coupons coupons are in and then I've got my little mathematics and my finished interior of my box I've got to let it dry a little bit before I start putting stuff in it because otherwise it'll get kind of messed up but so far this is how everything is looking um I'm really happy with this let me show you the other side of the box look how cute that looks I think next port of call is to paint the outside of this 
So these plain glass bottles are what is going to go in the little hamper. And I'm going to make them all look like this. So I've just filled them with a little bit of glitter. Um, I have a bunch of different types going on. There's so much on my desk. And then I'm going to write out little love notes and little pictures. And I'm going to put them in here. And then there's going to be 12 of them. And they're all going to go in that little carry case over there. So yeah, I'm going to be turning that into that. Wish me luck. I finished all my bottles. Um, this is the current state of them. They keep tipping over. I've put little like zigzaggy wormy things in the crate and I'm liking it. It looks super cute. I just need to figure out a way where I can pack them and keep them stood up. For now, however, I'm going to start work on this humongous bag. I feel like I may have got a bag too big. However, there's not much I can do about that now. So I'm going to start sketching out ideas and designs to go on there and basically just come back to you when I've decided what to go on there. So I think I finally settled on the design to go on the bag. Um, I think it's going to look super duper cute. Um, it's currently like half eight or something like that. So it's pretty late at night. But I will show you the bag design. So these are the two designs that I was looking at. This is kind of inspiration. Well, it's exactly copied from a paper chase design. I don't know. It just doesn't have the energy that I wanted it to have. Whereas this, I think looks really cute. It has exactly the right energy. And I just think it looks really sweet. And I put a little heart in the tail. I just really like it. A lot more simple, but um, in my opinion, very much cuter. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm hoping to try and get this done today because it's the 3rd of February and Charlie is coming tomorrow and he's going to pick up his gifts. And currently the bottles aren't finished, the bag's not finished and nothing is wrapped. So that is today's plan to try and finish the otters. Let's go. So after painting the otters, the first layer looked like this and then the second layer looked like this, which is what it currently looks like. And I'm now going to go paint it so it looks like this. So this is what a finished bottle looks like. I found these cute little heart stickers from Paper Chase and then the little messages in there with all the glitter and I think it looks really cute. I used like these different kinds of papers to write the messages on and I'm thinking to probably make a little patchwork background to pop the otters on on the bag. I think that might make it look super cute and really tie like the whole thing together so like the bag is a part of a present. I think that'll be really cute, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and if I hate it, we cry. This is the final product of the bag. I think it looks really cute, and here's the aftermath. Very much fun. And then I have this gorgeous card that I have to write on. It's very cute. It's by Sarah Miller. Um, but yeah, all the presents are inside the bag and wrapped. And then once I've finished the card, that is me done. So yeah, that's it. My camera is wobbling because it's balanced on my bed on my ring light, so I apologise for that the whole way through the outro. But yeah, that is the Valentine's Day DIY I did for Charlie this year, and if you found anything that you really liked, I've linked some of the products in the description below, some of the ones that I can find. Um, but yeah, most of it was from the work, so just head into your local craft store and grab whatever you need. But I hope you guys had a nice Valentine's Day. If you do celebrate it, if you don't, I hope you had a lovely 14th of February and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!